Hey everybody, my name is Jeff. I'm an Etsy print-on-demand seller. My channel is POD Insights. We talk about all things print-on-demand, especially for the Etsy platform. But today, I wanna to talk to you about a slightly different topic, and that is business banking. This is a topic that I tried to find some information about specifically around print-on-demand businesses and how business banking might be a part of that. And I had a hard time finding some information about that when I was first starting out. So I wanna to talk to you today about how you don't have to be an LLC or corporation to take advantage of the benefits of business banking. So we're gonna talk about why it's important, even if this is just a side hustle and you still have a full-time job, but you're running a print-on-demand business on the side, and how you can add to your bottom line by using things like business credit cards to get cash back rewards. So stick around, I think you'll find it helpful. We're gonna cover the basics as well as some products that are currently out there and available today in April 2021 that you can take advantage of. Okay, so before we dive in here, just a quick disclaimer. I wanna let you know that I am not a financial advisor. I am not an accountant. I'm not a tax attorney. I'm just a print-on-demand seller who likes money. I like to maximize the return that I'm getting from my business, and I found that business banking has actually helped add to my bottom line and is helping me to earn an additional return with interest on my profits. So please make sure that if you're making any serious decisions about opening business accounts, moving money, taxes, anything like that, do your own research and consult with proper professionals if you think it's necessary. So I'm just talking today about the benefits of these types of accounts and trying to dispel a few myths about eligibility for them. Okay, so first and foremost, print on demand sellers, we are business owners and as sole proprietors, even if we're not LLCs or corporations, if you haven't filed for any type of formal business entity, by default, you are a sole proprietor and sole proprietors are eligible for business banking. So this means checking accounts, savings accounts, and credit cards. And I'm talking about small business banking accounts. I'm not talking about corporate accounts. The main benefit of business banking accounts is that they keep your finances separate. And I definitely want to stress the benefit of keeping your finances separate. Having an account that keeps all of those transactions for expenses and income from your print on demand business separate from all of your personal finances just makes things easier for you in keeping track of your total revenue, total expenses, and all of that becomes more important when it's time to file your taxes each year. So that in itself is a big benefit. I would say it's probably the number one benefit of business banking and keeping separate accounts. Another benefit, of course, is especially when it comes to business credit cards, you can earn extra cash back on the expenses that you just normally have to pay for to run your print on demand business. And that adds extra profit right to your bottom line. And that is a huge benefit. And I've started taking advantage of that with a couple of business credit cards that I'll talk about a little bit later. Okay, so let's start by talking about business checking accounts. There's a lot of companies out there, a lot of the big national banks offer business checking accounts, but sometimes they're not the best choice for independent small business owners like us, print on demand sellers, especially if this is a side hustle for you and you don't see expanding your business to become you know, doing a million dollars plus of revenue per year. If you're happy with this kind of as a hobby, and may, especially if you're an artist and you create your own designs, you're not looking to really blow up your business to be gigantic. A lot of the large national banks, uh, their business checking accounts, they have thresholds and tiers where you have to have a certain amount of a recurring balance in your checking account to waive the fees. And sometimes the fees can be pretty hefty. Uh, so in my opinion, they're not the best. Most of them are not the best choice for a small, independent, sole proprietor, business owner uh, who's doing print on demand. There are a few websites out there like Bankrate and Wallet Hub where you can go find articles that rank business checking accounts and give a nice summary of the features they offer and the fees, interest rates, and things like that. I'll put a link to one of those pages in the description of this video in the checking section so that you can go do some of your own research on the uh, banking accounts that are currently available today because those sites will update uh, in the future with you know interest rates and fees and things like that but first i want to talk about the business checking account that i am personally using and i've been using it for a little bit and i'm loving it 
and it's called Bluevine. So Bluevine is an online business checking account. They also do business lending and a couple other things. They have a bill pay feature as well. They don't charge any fees. So there are no fees for uh, monthly maintenance, no fees for wires that are incoming. You can have unlimited transactions. They have a mobile app that I found to work very easily. And overall, I just think it's a great solution for a print on demand seller. Uh, especially because I don't need a physical bank to go to. Transfers to in and out of the Bluevine account to my other accounts are very easy and they only take a day or two to process. The biggest, absolute biggest benefit of Bluevine is that it pays 1.0% interest currently as of April 2021. I don't know about you, but I've had a hard time finding a savings account that still pays 1.0% interest this year as of 2021. So the fact that this checking account pays 1% interest to me is huge. And what that allows me to do is every month my Etsy funds get deposited into this account. I pay my bills directly out of this account to my business credit cards that we're going to talk about in just a second. And then I just leave my profits in this account and it keeps earning me interest all year. So I think this is a perfect solution. By the way, there is no referral program that I have with Bluevine. So I'm not getting paid by them. If you click on the link in the description to go check out Bluevine, I don't get anything from them. I'm purely talking about it because it's the account that I use and I think it's a great solution for print on demand sellers. Okay, now let's talk about business credit cards and the benefits of using those with your print on demand business. This is a topic that I found it kind of hard to find specific information about print on demand and business credit cards when I was doing some of my research. I have found a couple articles though that talk about ways that you will qualify for having a business credit card that you may not have thought of. And I'm gonna put a link to a couple of those in the description below under the credit card section. So check those out. The bottom line is as a print on demand seller, a sole proprietor, you do qualify to apply for a business credit card you're going to have to give a personal guarantee when you apply as a sole proprietor. That means instead of entering an EIN or identification number for tax purposes as a business entity, like an LLC, you're gonna enter your social security number in the United States when you apply for a business credit card. They do a one-time credit check on you, your personal credit file, to approve you for the credit card. Assuming you're approved, then on an ongoing basis, the account uh, from a monthly standpoint is reported to business credit bureaus, not personal credit bureaus. So there's a benefit right there that you can use a business credit card to fund the expenses of your business and not have the credit utilization impact your personal credit cards or your personal credit information with the credit bureaus. The biggest benefit of business credit cards are the rewards that they can offer. So there are travel rewards for me. I like the cash back rewards credit cards for business the best because I can take that cash back and put it right to my bottom line by covering business expenses. Of course, the same rules apply to business credit cards that apply to personal credit cards, and that means you need to use them responsibly. Never charge more than what you have coming in in revenue and you'll be fine. So simply just don't look at business credit cards as a way to get extra funding for your business. Look at them as a way to earn rewards on expenses you are already going to be paying anyway. So what type of expenses can you put on a business credit card and what expenses do you have as a print on demand seller? Let's just take a second and think about this. Think about your fulfillment expenses. That is the number one highest expense for any print on demand seller. If we're using Printful or Printify to fulfill our orders that we're getting from our Etsy customers, every order we are paying individually for and how you pay for that can determine, you know, whether you get anything back or not. So if you're using a personal credit card, you can be earning rewards, but you're also affecting your credit utilization rate in the personal uh, credit bureaus. If you're using a business credit card, you're not affecting your credit utilization or anything like that with the personal credit bureaus and you can still earn some nice rewards. Let's just talk through an example uh, with nice round numbers to kind of spell this out. So let's say that you do 100 orders per month and the average revenue from your orders is $20. That means at the end of the month, you're gonna have $2,000 in your Etsy account that'll get deposited to your external account. Hopefully it's a business checking account like Bluevine that's gonna earn you interest, which we just talked about. Let's just assume that you priced your products for a 30% profit margin. That means you'll be able to keep $600 
That also means that $1,400 was an expense for you, and that's what you had to pay to fulfill your orders. If you paid that $1,400 using a credit card, a business credit card that earns 2% cash back, that means that you're going to get $28 in cash back for that month. If you do that every month for a year and the order volume and all those numbers stay exactly the same, that's $336 per year in cash back that goes straight to your bottom line. Now think about what that can do for you. Let's just use the example of Printify, right? The Printify platform offers a premium account that costs $29 a month. And that account offers you a 20% discount on most products, especially things like t-shirts, which do sell quite a bit for print on demand. So you can actually use the cash back if you're earning $28 or more a month in cash back to completely pay for a Printify premium account, which gives you access to better profit margins for your products. So that's just an example of what a cash back rewards credit card can do for your business. So let's talk about the first credit card that I recommend you take a look at if you're considering getting a business credit card for your print on demand business. And that is the American Express business cash back card. This is my number one recommendation if you're starting out with your business and this is, you know, say the first one you're gonna get. And I'm recommending this one because it is a zero annual fee card. So there's zero expense with keeping this credit card. It offers 2% flat cash back on the first $50,000 that you charge every year, and then it drops to 1% cash back after that. If you are new to print on demand, it's very likely you're going to do less than $50,000 uh, in terms of total expenses that you pay throughout the year. If your business is ramping up quickly, there might be another option for you that I'm gonna talk about in just a second that might make more sense. But assuming in your first couple of years, at least you're doing under $50,000 in total expenses in total fulfillment and other expenses, then this credit card is a fantastic option. I have this credit card myself. This was the first one that I got for my business and I love it. It's very simple. I simply put all of my Printify and Printful orders on it every month and then they automatically give me 2% cash back every single month. It's automatically applied to the statement and it goes straight to my bottom line profit. Right now, there is a referral offer available. So the link that is in the description for the Amex Business Cash credit card is a referral link. And I just wanna let you know that because the offer for the referral is actually better, the introductory offer. It's better than the one that you would get if you just go to the Amex website and look this up. So the link below is a referral, but I'm doing that because the offer is better. Okay, so let's say you want a cashback credit card that doesn't have the cap of $50,000 a year. You don't wanna to have to worry about that, having a cutoff where it drops, but you still don't want an annual fee. If that's you, then I suggest considering the Chase Inc. Business Unlimited credit card instead. This one offers no limit to the cashback, and that means there's no $50,000 cap where it, the cashback rate drops, but it is 1.5% rather than 2%, so it's a little bit less you've got a half percent less in terms of the return rate but you also don't have to worry about that fifty thousand dollar cap this card also offers a pretty generous sign up bonus right now it's april 2021 you can earn i think it's 750 dollars right now for spending 7500 in the first three months chase offers some really nice sign up bonuses for both their business and their personal credit cards so this one can be a nice option if you want a simple straightforward no annual fee cashback card and you don't have to worry about that having a limit where your cashback percentage drops okay now this third option is a great option if you're interested in having more than one business credit card in order to get a higher cash back return on specific categories. This one is the Business Advantage Cash Back Credit Card from Bank of America. This one also has no annual fee. So all three of these first cards are no annual fee. They don't add any expense. They just give you return on expenses that you would already be charging. The cool thing about this one is that it offers 3% cash back on the category of your choice and then 2% on dining, which not likely to be something we use in a print on demand business and 1% on everything else. The 3% cash back category is limited to $50,000 a year. But the interesting thing with this one is that one of the choices is a category called computer services. It includes software services that run on subscription basis or on an annual basis. And this is a category that I actually am using currently. I have this credit card as one of my business credit cards, and I'm currently getting 3% cash back on Adobe Photoshop, Vexels, 
uh, Sales Samurai and Merch Informer, all four of those vendors are coming through as computer services charges right now, and I'm earning 3% back on those with no annual fee. So this is a nice option if you're interested in stacking uh, a couple different credit cards together and differentiating to get you the best possible return. If you're only going to get one, this is probably not the best one to get because the overall spend on these services is definitely going to be less in the long run than your fulfillment expenses through Printify, Printful, and those platforms. And this credit card is only going to give you 1% cash back on those. I have not been able to find one of the 3% categories that works with Printify or Printful uh, fulfillment. So definitely don't recommend this one if you're only going to get one. But if you're interested in having an extra one to get that little boost 3% on other services that you use for your business, this one can be a pretty good option. Okay, the last credit card I'm going to mention today is the Capital One Spark Cashback Business Credit Card. This one earns a flat 2% cash back on an unlimited amount of spending. So there is no cap to the 2% cash back that you can earn. However, it does have a $95 annual fee. So that's the downside. They do waive the $95 annual fee in the first year. So if you expect to have large expenses starting at least in year two and beyond, this one could be worth it. What's the cutoff? Where's the difference between this and that Amex cashback card we mentioned at the beginning? Well, the cutoff is actually about $60,000 in total spend. If you're going to spend anywhere up to $55,000 annually, the Amex business cashback card is the better deal because it doesn't have an annual fee. And you'll actually get more cash back uh, even once you go slightly over the $50,000 limit. But once you get to spending $60,000 or more in a given year, the Spark Business Cashback Card from Capital One becomes the higher cashback rewards, even after you subtract that $95 annual fee. So this one is a good option if you're expecting or if you're already spending $60,000 or more in your print-on-demand business overall, this one can be a very nice option for you. All right, let's do a quick recap of everything we talked about today. So print-on-demand sellers, you do not need to be an LLC or corporation to qualify for small business banking accounts. Sole proprietors are welcome to apply for business checking or credit card accounts, and they definitely have benefits for you as you're building your print-on-demand business, especially keeping those business finances separated from your personal finances is something you're going to appreciate when it comes to filing your taxes and keeping your records accurate and in order. Business credit cards can help add to your bottom line through cash rewards as long as you use them responsibly. Remember that you never want to charge more than what you have coming in in revenue and you don't want to use them as a way to get extra funding for your business. You just want to use them as a way to pay for expenses that you were going to pay anyway and add to your bottom line. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you're starting a brand new print on demand business or if you've already been doing it for a while, I hope that you are able to take something away from this. Check out the rest of my videos on my channel, POD Insights. We talk about all kinds of things, selling print on demand on the Etsy platform especially. So give me a subscribe if you want to see the rest of those videos. And let me know in the comments if you have any questions or if you think this was helpful. Don't forget to check out the links to all the information we talked about today. I'll see you next time.